if only 50% of women with the gene mutation actually go on to develop breast cancer, and the other 50% don't ever develop breast cancer, what gives? Why is that? <laughs> Why are half of patients not even getting breast cancer? Last time, we talked about the corporate interests that pushed for direct-to-consumer breast cancer genetic screening and advertising. Now let's talk about who actually benefits from screening and how much money is generated from this. We'll also talk about Angelina Jolie's influence on screening tests. Let's get started with who actually benefits from direct-to-consumer genetic testing. So a small portion of patients do gain valuable information from breast cancer genetic testing. But the vast majority of women are simply scared and anxious, and rightly so, because we're talking about breast cancer. And that population is being exploited in some ways based off the very small risk that they may have one of these relatively uncommon hereditary forms of breast cancer. And the problem is that what's lost in this messaging is the vast potential for lifestyle to help reduce the breast cancer risk in the first place. Instead of looking for the relatively rare genetic diseases that there's limited things we can do about, we lose sight of what we can do, which is the lifestyle components that we mentioned earlier. And in particular for breast cancer, we know that body mass index and obesity, alcohol intake, and many other factors play a tangible role in the development. So unfortunately, my patients just don't hear that there's more to the story. They think that the genetic risk is, if not absolute, very close to it, and that there isn't much that they can do. This is clearly preying on vulnerability, particularly when we're talking about breast cancer, of all cancers, that, like we said earlier, has so much sensitivity associated with it. On top of that, the results of these tests are confusing to many women. For example, women who test negative for the genetic test wonder, do I still need mammograms if I test negative? Is it okay for me to drink alcohol since I know I'm negative? And for women who test positive, they wonder, do I need a mastectomy now? This is scary stuff. And they simply don't emphasize the potential for lifestyle modification that can reduce the risk of breast cancer, totally separate from the genes that are admittedly much harder to change. So the doctors and scientists behind these walls do incredible life-saving work. There's no question about it. But do you see how the media is in charge of what women actually hear? This is the danger when we have direct-to-consumer advertising and testing. For example, in 2002, when Myriad Genetics piloted their direct-to-consumer ad campaign for BRCA testing in Denver, Colorado, referrals for BRCA genetic counseling increased 244%. Unfortunately, Many of the women who were actually at risk for having the mutation weren't even captured, and more of the women who were at lower risk of having the BRCA mutation were captured, showing that the direct-to-consumer advertising wasn't even reaching the women who needed it most. Another example is after the famous editorial by Angelina Jolie in the New York Times. In the 15 business days after the editorial, 4,500 additional BRCA tests were ordered, costing over $13.5 million. Even if insurance did cover these tests up front, that money's got to come from somewhere. And there's a good chance that we're paying for those increased expenditures by the insurance companies with higher premiums. As with before, the highest risk populations, think of those women from Ashkenazi Jewish descent, for example, weren't the ones getting the test either. There's so much women can do to help take control of their breast cancer risk, and that's motivating to my patients. It certainly changed my mom's life. And I hope that's an empowering story to everyone out there. Thank you. I'm here with Karma in San Francisco. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe below to learn more about how you can take over control of your health. And remember, you have more power over your health than they want you to know. Until next time.